guys, my name is Dr. Rocker and today's video is quite different than what I normally do. But a lot of you guys requested some real-time draw along. So I thought a Dr. Rocker drawing practice would be nice. This is something I try to do as much as possible to step up my game and stay in the zone. And since I thought it might be interesting for you guys to see how I practice, I wanted to try this out. I will use a 2B pencil, so it's quite dark and you will be able to see everything properly. And I like to sketch with softer pencils because they are very loose on the paper and so I can be extra fast. Okay, so take out a pencil and a piece of paper because now it's time to draw! Oh, and don't forget to subscribe for more comic book stuff like this. And there will still be a normal Dr. Rocker video on Sunday, so stay tuned for that as well. But now for real, drawing. Okay guys, like I just said, this is going to be a bit different than usual. And we're starting off with a head sketch. You can draw heads in many different ways, but I prefer them like I do them just here. Just make them a little bit broader, towards the upper side of the of the head and then I go in in the middle of the of the head I go in with the eyes straight away so just to kind of a cross through your head um, and divide it in two parts length and broad wise and then you place your eyes on on this line and leave enough space for one extra eye in the middle then you have the right space between the eyes you can also do some help lines for the nose and the mouth, but I just do them with intuition, which is enough. Because that's where you can variate quite a lot. Because some people have longer noses, and some people have a stronger chin than others. So you can do whatever you like or whatever you feel like is looking good for your character. And since we're drawing a hero here, we need a quite thick neck. It needs to be as thick as the head at least. And just like that we have a head. Quite simple, quite sketchy, but a good way to warm up. And now we will draw a head from the side, the side profile, which is way easier than the front one. Because obviously you don't have to be symmetric and the head from the side profile is quite easy. You can also play around a lot. You can give him a longer nose or a shorter nose, um, bigger eye, smaller eye, and also the lips. Take good care of the lips. Um, you can do so much with those. And not just the lips, but the line from the lips down to the chin. You can do that one really short or really long like I did. Just fool around with those a little bit and your character will look so different. It's really, really a nice tip. Trust me on that one. And you also don't have to follow the exact same scheme when you do the head, the shape of the head. You can do a little bit of a stronger head like I did right here. Or you can do a bigger circle for the head. And then he might look a little bit more intelligent because there's more room for brains. But you can also make him a really flat head so he looks really stupid. Whatever you like and whatever your character is supposed to look like. And here we are already working on our first gesture drawing. One of my absolute favorite poses in comic book drawings. It's basically a hero just standing there and looking cool. I started off with a too small of a rib cage. Um, very often I think it's better to define the chest muscle first and then do the, do the rib cage because it's a very nice landmark if you have the chest muscle already. Here you can see me putting in all the stomach muscles. I didn't even do a gesture because I, I know where they belong. So you can, you can do a gesture of the whole figure first if, if you feel more comfortable with that. And this is actually the better way to do the whole gesture first. But sometimes it's also just nice just to fool around a little bit, try out some stuff, try out where the muscles connect. And you can, you can work on the gesture later on as well, like I did here. And by the way, people, please let me know down in the comments if you like a video like that. I just wanted to try this out. It was uh, really requested quite some times. 
So I, I was like, well, maybe, maybe try out something in this direction. I didn't have a lot of time for this one. And it's also just an in-betweener, in between of my videos, my actual uh, high value production videos. But I think if I would be in your shoes, I would have liked to see a guy like me practice his, his drawing skills. I think you might be able to take a thing or two from that. And since this is all in real time, you can draw along pretty nicely, I guess. And a lot of you guys told me you like draw along, so here we go, people. And I'm finally at the legs. The right, the right leg is a little bit too short, but I guess I will fix that later. And he's got a little bit of a fat ass. Psst. But yeah, that's the actual line from the butt. And here we go with the leg. And if you like videos like this, I might be preparing properly next time and do a good one. But I think, I think still this is quite interesting to see because I just, I just drew this just out of my head. I didn't use reference and I'm, I wasn't able to show this properly in one of my videos yet. So I hope you enjoy it. And I, for my part, like to see other artists struggle every now and then and make mistakes. Because then I think, okay, all of them are doing mistakes as I am. And because we're all in the same boat, we're all doing the same thing basically. So nice to see other guys struggle as well. As you just might have noticed, um, for the left arm, I drew it a little bit. So I know where the shoulder is and I know where the arm is supposed to kind of stick out of the body so he's not just somewhere because he needs to be in the right place of course. Here I'm defining the collarbone and the neck muscles. You don't see uh, anything from the left shoulder because it's a little bit back. And now I just add some, some random muscle shapes that look nice and tricep right here and I guess we're almost done. Cleaning it up a little bit and fixing the head because he, he looked too stupid. <laughs> and there's our first gesture drawing. Like I already mentioned, one of my absolute favorite poses for a hero. It just looks epic. And it's very easy to light this one. You can just use one light source or do some rim lights from here and there. It's very easy because it's just a simple pose. For this one, I did something I never tried before. I wanted to try out my webcam. It's not the best resolution, but it worked good enough, I guess. And if you should be wondering about the different background, I had to go to the living room where my computer station is to film this with the computer. The gesture part is a little bit light, but I guess you can follow along and will be able to see enough. It's a very typical and quite easy superhero pose. One leg is lifted up and he's standing on something and the other one is, is the leg where the whole weight is bared by. I hope you can say it like that. And just to add some confusion, you can see on the left side, my little daughter is playing around with some Pokemon Lego dolls. So yeah, I had to take care of my four-year-old daughter, daughter uh, during filming this because I always have kids around. It's I really love my kids, but it can be really, really hard to work properly. But hey, that's just the way it is and I wouldn't change it. So be glad that, that there is no actual sound from when I recorded the video because there would be screaming in the background and some things like Daddy, Daddy, I want this, I need this, play with me and stuff like that. So I had to do a voiceover anyway, which means you don't have to listen to all of this stressful stuff. The only downside for me doing the voiceover, except from it takes another quite 
some amount of time for doing these, I have to do them at night because otherwise I wouldn't be able to record a straight sentence without being interrupted. And you can see again, after I created the muscles on the stomach, um, I attached all the ribs and now I'm already at the legs. The normal leg muscles as usual, there's the knee. This is a very important one, but if you do all these draw alongs, you will have them in your skill set. All of these things I do all the time. So you might call this a Dr. Rocker Anatomy Guide 2.0 or something like that, because I already did an anatomy guide, but I was way worse than I am at the moment, I dare say, so this one is more up to date. And really guys, do these drawing as often as you can master. It's such a big difference if you do them every day or at least every other day. And it's possible, you just have to do them, just do it! And by the way, the drawing you just see me do, I had to do it, I guess, seven times. I had so many troubles with the other camera. One time the camera shut off because it, it was too warm. Then it shut off for no apparent reason. Then I, uh, I erased something and wasn't patient enough, I guess, and I... I cracked the paper when I wanted to remove all the stains from the eraser. It, it was horrible, but finally I got it right. And here we are already at the face, so we are almost done. But also, if you do gesture drawings like these, always do the face and the hands. They are so important, you have to draw them so many times in all different kind of drawings so you can practice them enough. So don't be lazy and just do them. All the time, every time. And we are finishing off with some collarbones, maybe a little bit from the chest muscle. And I guess we are kinda done. Another cool, cool pose here in the bank. So, I hope you're up for the next one. This pose was an arch enemy of mine. It's not so hard, but it's a pose where the character is bent forward a little bit. And I always had trouble with these. So, there was a time when I did one of these drawings every day for at least a week. And when I had time enough, I even filled a whole sheet or two of them only with kind of the same pose over and over again, just to try and get it right and try to find my mistakes. Because you need this freaking bow pose when you want to draw a Wolverine, for example. You need to make him bend over because that's just how he works. There's so much body language in this pose, so don't miss out on that one and try to master it as well. I apologize for some misty lines and ghost-like characters in the background, but this paper is a really cheap copy paper and it's very thin, so in this case I wasn't thinking and I was just having it laid uh, laid down on another piece of paper. I guess it was the drawing from before and so <laughs> you can see it through a little bit, so just ignore that. After completing the gesture drawing, you can see me uh, creating all those muscles again. Also a very simple fist. My most beloved fist, you have seen it a lot of times, I guess. <laughs> it's really working quite nice and it, it's just looking pretty cool, I think. One of the hardest things about poses like these are, in my opinion, to leave enough space between chest and neck. So the line from the chest muscle needs to have quite a, a big gap 
to the neck muscle line because we are almost looking at the character from above because he's bent forward towards to us and that's pretty hard to do right. And the other thing you need to take care of is that the stomach muscles they need to be quite narrow. They might even be a little bit big in this one but I guess it depends on how long the character is you're drawing but just take care of that as well. There's a lot of foreshortening going on in the stomach area. And you also have to take care that the head is sitting quite low because when you do him too up high it doesn't look right. You just have to be sure where the head is connect to the body and also make him big enough so he he looks like he's standing out and is nearer to us than the crotch area for example. And when you take a look at the lower legs, both of them actually, they might look a little bit funny but there's no shading in there. With the shading you would see properly that they are, are kind of bent backwards. So the ankles are further away than the knees and therefore they need to appear way shorter because they are bent backwards like I just said. And his left leg is standing on something but I guess you figured that out already. And we are also already done with this one. Just finishing the left fist and then we need to do the face, the head and the face. And with, with a pose like this you need to make sure that he's looking quite grim and aggressive because otherwise this pose wouldn't work. Really one of my favorite poses I have to say although one like I said before one of my arch enemies one of the hardest poses I had to learn but if you do it often enough you will master everything you want to draw. And then, my friends, you will be extra proud. Trust me on that one. Okay, people, like I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video, this is quite the different video from what I do normally. But still, I hope you had fun watching and drawing along. And please let me know down in the comment section, do you like videos like this? Would you like to have another drawing practice video? Just let me know and I will think about it. So make sure to tune in on Sunday and till then you can watch this video. That's where I show you how to pencil some basic tricks and all you need to know about penciling. Pretty cool video, I was drawing Deadpool and if you haven't seen it, just click this. And if you have seen it, still click it. See you there.